Hey guys, it's Brody, and it's time for more example solves. So just like last time, I've got all five scrambles in the description, and I scrambled with white on top, green in front, and I'll most likely be solving on the white side, but I might solve on yellow if white is terrible. So let's get to the first one. Here is the first scramble. We've got the white cross pieces here, 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 and here. And this doesn't look great, but I can work with it. So I'm going to bring down this orange one, which, which will bring this blue into position. Put down on green. And these are both opposites. So what I'll do here is I'll do D prime, R prime, D2. Put this one back down, D. Then I'm going to insert these two. I go that to bring them out into position and then I insert. Next what I would do is these two so I disconnect them then I line this up and then I insert. What I'd probably do next is blue and orange into the back because the edge is right here and the corner is right here so I can bring this over connect it Move it back, insert. Then I've got the corner down here and the edge up here. So I can bring it over, rotate, bring it up, move it over, insert. I don't know this all well, so I'll get the cross. And we've got a pie case and a J perm. Let's go to the second solve. On this solve, we also don't have great cross pieces. They're here, 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 and back here. So what I would probably do is I'd do B prime, D prime, R prime, F prime, oh, no, L, F prime, R prime, L prime, U L prime B and that gets across. Then I have this pair right here. And then so that I can look ahead better, I insert it in the back, which is kind of counterintuitive, but Colin Burns goes over this in his video and it's really helpful. Then I've got these two. And then to insert these, this is a really helpful trick insert this pair into the back instead of rotating and, put it in, and putting it in what you should do is this in the back and this right here you go R2 F R F prime R and that's a trick I got from uh, one of Chris Olson's videos then I solve this pair and then this is the only pair left I'd rotate and then here there's a way to get the cross where you, with this empty slot and the pair here, you push this down to orient this edge, and then you can just insert it. I wouldn't do that a lot in solve, but it can be helpful, especially in one-handed. Then another pie case. And here we have a T-perm. Let's go on to solve number three. Okay, on this solve, we've got cross pieces here. This orange one's already lined up with white. Here, here, and back here. So what I would probably do here is if I bring down this green, that would line up with orange. Then both of these are above their opposites. So I can do U2, bring both of those down, and then D, and that gets the whole cross. Then, since this edge right here is oriented correctly, I can solve this pair into the back right here. See, that solves there. 
this pair I put into the back. This edge, this edge is oriented, which means I can just solve it here. And for this one, I need to rotate. And then there's the trick again. <clears throat> that trick can be really helpful. Here, um, I think this is called a... Wait, this is an H case, yeah. And I'll actually skip corner permutation right here, too. Which leaves me with a U perm. It's a clockwise U perm, then U2, which means I can use the inverse of an algorithm. And that was one of Chris Olson's algs of the week. It's the inverse of his U perm plus U2. I bring that out. I I keep track of it by tracking the F2L pairs. I bring out this pair, bring it over, bring out this one, reinsert that, bring that over and then just insert that and that solves it I'll go to the fourth solve on this one we've got a solved edge, cross edge right here this one right here and these two what I'd probably do here is I would do D prime U U prime and do F B prime R2 D and that solves the cross and then I've got this pair, which I can just insert right here. Then I've got this pair right here, which I'd rotate. And then neither of these edges, this edge and this edge, are both misoriented, which means if I rotate here, then I shouldn't have to rotate for the rest of the F2L. So I insert this pair. Then I insert this one by going like that. And I just insert that. And this is an OLL I know. You go, you, for this one you do L, F prime, left sexy move, F, U prime, oh, L prime, and I get a PLL skip. Now on to the final solve. For this one, we've got a solved blue edge here, these two edges, and then this one. So this isn't a great position, but it will work. So I'll do L prime, F, L, F2, R, D prime, F, D. And that gets cross. Then I would solve this pair. Then I would solve this pair is already solved, so I just need to move that over. And then this corner can be inserted in here. I can actually use keyhole. I can do E2, insert that E2 again, and then that F2L pair is solved. Right here, I've got this edge and this corner. And like I showed in the last one, what most people would do is they would go like that, and then insert. What I do in this case is I connect it, and then I just insert. Don't know this OLL, so I get the cross. Another pi case. And then I've got counterclockwise U perm. and then U prime. So thanks for watching these uh, example solves. Like this video if you want more.